Check it out, Jammer Nation. We got some new shoes. What's up, Jammers? We got an exciting episode this week. We do. This week, we got LED puddle lights, LED license plate lights, slow drop tailgate, chrome hooks, new shoes, and... Oh, man, we have a leveling kit going on the front. We have some gigantic tires going on Whoa! to convert this grandpa truck into a machine and a bed liner. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stick with us, guys. So I guess we're gonna go after this leveling kit first, huh? That is the plan, James. Yeah? All right, let's do this. Might as well talk about everything as we're right here, Ryan. Everything, so um, what's with when this? I was a child. No, 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 what's, oh. with, what's with your seat? Oh, yeah, my seat, <laughs> yeah. I added a, this is a new option, it's called the old Blackie. So uh, where did that come from, your wife's kitchen? No, someone that used to be a friend of ours who's no longer allowed to be associated with us has moved away, and he left it. Look at you, Earl. Oh, dude. Look at you, Earl. One other thing that our, our viewers are gonna wanna know. Yeah. Where did these shoes come from? Oh look, they got a little bit of an Italian flag, I'm gonna have to cut that off. Why'd you do this? Well, there's a flag on there that I don't necessarily support. Cause it ain't an American flag. Well, you shouldn't have bought Italian shoes then. Well, apparently Italian shoes are the best fitting shoes there is. So I done went and got the best fitting shoes there is. Maybe I can set them on fire with them on. Should I set it on fire with the shoes on? Let's do that. This sounds like a terrible idea. What, what could go wrong? Oh boy, it's kind of- Move the rigid. Oh, good thinking. It's kind of hot. Woo! A little bit of hotness. Trying to do you justice, Italy. What do you think, guys? Got rid of that Italian flag. Now I got to do the other side. Well, that's getting hot on my foot. Really? Just a little bit. Just keep it moving, you won't notice it. Can I just say what everybody's thinking right now? Why not just cut it off? This is America. I mean, that is part of it. These colors don't run. Option number two would be, uh... Oh boy. What's that? Take your shoes off. Hey! I didn't even think of that! <laughs> there you go! For real? It's... Come on! Come on! I thought Ben, putting it, burning it with it on would be better for the channel, you know? Well... That's just a sacrifice that you're willing to I'm make. I'm willing to set myself on fire for you, folks. L literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> How many other people buy brand new shoes and set them on fire? Um, I would say nobody. I'm looking at you, Jammer Nation. <laughs> Comment below. Would you set your shoes on fire? Gotta we, get rid of them Italian flags. In inquiring minds really want to know Listen to answer here. this question. We in America, okay? We don't wear no Italian flags. <laughs> Look at it. This is way better looking now. We like Italian food, though. Way better looking now. Look at it. You can't even tell. Oh, yeah. Well, we know where the first hole will end up. Holy cow, that's hot. Still? All right. So this here's America!
you pulling off here, Ryan? This is a sway bar link. Uh -huh. um, and if you guys go to remove this sway bar link and the whole thing starts spinning, you grab your 18 ratcheting wrench or any size. It could be open box. It's just going to take more work. Um, and an 8 mil. You put, the, you put the 18 in on first. You put the 8 mil on top to hold it still. And there you go. And then you just loosen it. And that's how you take off your sway bar link. And we're doing that so the whole assembly will drop. Correct. We're, what are we putting? What kind of leveling kit? It's like a couple inches, right? Two and a half inches, I think. All right, so we need to have the whole entire strut drop two and a half inches anyway. Right. So we're just trying to make life easier for ourselves. See how much that went down already? I mean, well, and I think the whole strut dropped, right? Yeah, look, I mean, that whole thing is... Yeah. So now we should be able to, in theory, put this back up in here. In theory, we should be able to line this back up in these holes, pull this bottom out, and then slide the whole thing through this cavity. Yeah. So, you might not want to take all of them off. I still don't have enough room. No, can't pull the steering link and shut. Yeah, I'm tired. Slide it out the side. Yeah, slide it out that way. So, so right down here, guys, you see. This is your outer tie rod end. Yeah, and so we, we've got it out of this little uh, saddle, right? Yep. But uh, we can't get it past the steering linkage, so we're gonna pull this off, and that'll be the should be the last thing. Right. A lot of times with ball joints, if you hit them with an impact and keep them going, they'll they'll let you roll. Them. Well, because you got so much friction in there, it's like a, a wedge. It, there's a wedge fit inside there. Right, and the weight has been sitting on it, so it's yeah. There you go. And it's been rusty too. You want to hit it up a little bit just to leave it there. So when you're beating on it, you don't nick the threads. So show sure, everybody. We did this a long time ago, but where are you, show everybody where you're gonna hit. So I'm gonna hit right here. And, uh, we'll get you home. and the reason I leave the, the nut head on is in case I somehow miss and hit down here, I don't nick up the threads. But you want to hit just basically right here a couple times, and what's going to happen is this little guy's going to pop up. Just had to get a hold of it. You guys go. There you go. And this is hardened steel. This ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. No. It just needed to be uh, persuaded. What do you guys think? Got my warning label on. It would solve a lot of problems, Ryan. I do speak freely often. <laughs> But how would everybody hear about Mandia if it were for that? I mean, greatness does protrude out of this mouth hole. <laughs> All right, Ryan, so we are doing something we don't normally do. No, nah, following instructions. <laughs> yes, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. And uh, I would highly recommend following them. These are for, these three outside are for the shop mouth. Yes. And then these six or for the shop tower. Right, and not all of them get used, so you gotta make sure you got the right one. And if you notice, it says B out, and it says A out. Passenger side is B out, driver side is A out. All right, so they're they're basically made the same, but they're made to rotate. Right. So you gotta make sure that when you do this, you gotta get the bolts in the right, in the correct holes. Right. With it oriented correctly. So this so is passenger side, so we have B out, and then yep. we put these in their spot. guys so what we did is is we we got one nut on here and we tightened it as far as we could and then we slid it in and we used this on the back side right here yep and just used I think they call it a fulcrum right yep we just, and just pried it up in there yeah just use the leverage of the bar and it and it, it popped in pretty easy actually yeah it really did Thank mm -hmm. you.
Ryan, we just got done wrestling around with this little lift. Yeah, so what, what happened was is um, we, when we were putting the strut back up into the tower, we fouled up one of the bolts that came with the kit and it stripped out the nut and then we had to cut it off with the sawzall. Uh, fortunately, because it's an A and B side, we can use that same side on the other side in a different hole. What are we up to next, man? Check out these bad boys, y'all. Would you just look at it? Look at it. Man, that's gonna be a huge difference. So tell me the difference between... Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Are you excited? I've been waiting for this since we since bought we... these rims and tires the week after we bought the truck, y'all. Yeah. So we've had these rims and tires for three months. Yeah. <laughs> they just been sitting in Ryan's garage on the floor. Eating me alive! I know. We've both been dying to put them on. What do you think, bro? Hey, man, we're down to the last couple items here. We only got your side left. Everything I've done everything on the list, but one. Well, that's usually what it is. And not your complaint. I have to do everything. Well, I pretty much do. <laughs> I'm basically a certified genius mechanic. So what can I say? I just want to be like you, Ryan. That's all I want in life. You know, the kids always used to say want to be like Mike. What they really meant was want to be, want to be, want to be like Ryan, like Ryan.
up, Jammers? Well, this week wasn't without its obstacles. We had a few, but overall, we had a very productive and amazing week, right? It did work out in the end. We did have to do some improvisation. And yes. we got the wheels on. They look incredible. Real, a lot more aggressive. And we got the level kit on. And we got our tail light, the tail license plate LED lights on. Yeah, and the puddle lights up under the mirrors. And then we got our chrome hooks, our bed liner. Man, what did we not do this week? We did a lot, though. We did. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, head to our website if you guys feel like it. You want to throw down a couple 20 bucks or something like that and buy a shirt, buy a hat. We have some new hats on there that Ryan hates. I love. Also, hit the subscribe button right now and that bell. That helps us out a ton. We're still trying to really grow this channel up to 1,000. We're not too far off. A couple hundred away. I know. Can't do it without you guys. Awesome. And on that note, we'll see you next time. Get him out of